I'm Kitten Grayson, a London flower designer, and today I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful, ornate flower crown for this year's Day of the Dead. You will need gorge wire, green florist tape, your scissors, ribbon, and real wire. You'll need about 20 to 30 flowers to create this floral headpiece. You want to start cutting your flower stems and cut them to approximately five centimeters. Take your gauge wire, you want to bend it into a U shape and lay it on the top of the flower stem. Take one of the legs and then twist it round. Traditionally, marigolds were used in these head crowns. It was said that the scent and the colour would help guide the dead back into the world of the living. Take two pieces of your um, gauge wire. You're going to take some florist tape and start wrapping the green tape, weaving your way down the first wire, and then taking your second wire, joining it in the middle, binding them both together. I'm going to create two loops at the end, and that's what we're going to loop the ribbon through. You want to take your base of the flower crown and gently manipulate it to mirror the shape of your head very lightly. And then I'm going to start with the hydrangeas, place it on top of the wire base, and then start feeding it on, start binding it on with this green floral tape, twisting it as you go. Once that's firmly binded, and you can start the next flower. And the most important thing about this is just to have fun with it and just let the flowers lead you and the shapes of the flowers. You're just adding in as you go. The last couple of flowers that are going onto the base, it's quite a good idea to maybe take the separate stems and cut them really short and then sort of slot them into place and just wind round the base. If you remember your two loops that you made either side of the crown, and then they have it. beautiful flower crown and the perfect makeup look for this year's Day of the Dead.